Hello and welcome to Dr. Z's Health Academy. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about wrinkling of the retina. Wrinkling of the retina goes by many names. You may have heard of the term epiretinal membrane, or you may hear your doctor say the term macular pucker. But a lot of patients, when they come to me, they use the word wrinkling of the retina. What is wrinkling of the retina? Well, let's review briefly the different parts of the eye. Here in this diagram, this represents the front of the eye. Sorry about that. One moment here. This is the front of the eye, the cornea. This part is the lens of the eye. And back here is the retina. So light is going to be passing from the outside world to the cornea, to the lens, and it's going to land on the retina. The retina is going to process that image send it down the optic nerve towards the brain. The macula is the center of the retina right here. And wrinkling of the retina, or epiretinal membrane, or macular pucker, these are all conditions, it's the same condition, and it occurs when some basically scar tissue forms on the surface of the macula, causing the macula to be wrinkled. So a patient who has a normal healthy macula will see these lines as up and down and left and right, as shown in this grid right in the middle of the screen. On the right side here, we have a patient, so I'll put here normal, and here we have a patient who has wrinkling of the retina. And you can see that these lines are no longer straight up and down, but rather they're wavy. So you might imagine that the scar tissue over the surface of the macula causes wrinkling of the retina, which causes wrinkling in the vision. Let me see if I can illustrate what happens to the retinal surface because of this uh, wrinkling of the retina. So I'm going to draw here in blue, down below the normal, diagram what a normal macula looks like. It has a normal thickness to it here, it has a nice dip uh, here, and it goes like this. This dip is called the fovea, this is the part that's responsible for our most central vision. So you can imagine that there's all these little cells processing the light, so when the light comes down from this direction, hits the fovea, these cells process that light and send the image back to the brain. Now, if you go to a retina that has wrinkling in it, what you'll see is the bottom part might look similar, but now, instead of a nice smooth dip to it, retina doesn't have that smooth dip, rather has a bump, and we will link here, because of this membrane, or scar tissue, that's on the surface of the retina. So now you might imagine that these cells here, instead of being straight, Perhaps these cells also get a little distorted. <clears throat> and because of that distortion, that results in distortion of the vision. So whereas on the left here, in a normal retina, you might see the cells all lined up straight across. And here you see that the cells are irregular because of this surface uh, scar tissue. I tell patients, imagine uh, my pant leg is totally smooth and if I took my hand and I scrunched my pant leg you'll see all the wrinkles and folds in my pant leg and those wrinkles and folds are very similar to what happens on the surface of the retina the surface of the retina gets wrinkled and therefore the vision gets distorted so somebody with wrinkling of the retina or an epiretinal membrane or macular pucker will tell me that the lines that they see aren't straight up and down but rather curvy so now that you have a better understanding of what is wrinkling of the retina we can move on and talk about treatment options. So in my next video, I'll talk about the treatment for wrinkling of the retina.